Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be talking about cutout maps. So I was looking at these pictures of these interesting uh, brick patterns where they have basically these holes in the brick walls and I thought it would be an interesting project to try to replicate basically this in Revit the most efficient way. So I'm going to be doing that through material cutouts but before we get started I suggest you subscribe to my channel because I make tutorials like these every day and if you would like this video it would help me out a lot. Okay so let's get started. I have downloaded this basically brick texture image and I have it on my computer so we're going to start in Photoshop actually so I'm just going to go here right click on the image go open with and then I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop. Now when you open up the image we need to create some additional layers. We need to have this basic image that we're going to use as a material. Then we need to create a bump map which is this just black and white with a bit of higher contrast. And the last thing we need to do is we need to create a cutout map. So first let's just create the bump map. So I'm just going to go here right click and go duplicate layer. Just hit OK. And once we've done that, we can just go here and find the effect, basically the black and white effect. Here it is. And you just make it local for this layer only by hitting this here. Okay, this looks all right. Now we need to make a bit of a higher contrast. So I'm just going to here to brightness contrast and just go hard with the contrast and maybe make it a bit darker like so. Okay, that looks about right. And again, make it local to this layer by hitting this here. Okay, once that is complete, now we can create our cutout layer. So I'm just going to here go and create a new layer. Let's just leave it at layer 1. And then I'm going to be using this rectangle select tool and I'm only going to select some bricks. So I'm just going to come here, select maybe this one, this one, and then just repeat the process. Okay, so let's say we created a pattern that we like. This is basically just a vertical line that would go on our facade or whatever. So we created a selection that we're happy with. So now I can just go right click, go fill, and then fill it up with black. So go OK, and there you go. So now this blackness will be basically the cutout. So everything that's black on this layer will be the cutout and everything that's white will be basically visible. So now I can let's turn off these layers for a second. Right click, deselect and then we can use the magic tool over here to select everything else and go right click and do the white fill. So let's find the fill. Yeah, and let's go with the white fill. Okay. So now this is basically the cutout map and it needs to correspond with these layers over here. So now if I make it a little transparent, it needs to correspond with these bricks over here. Okay, so once that is completed, let's first save this cutout map. So I'm just going to go here to save as, go to desktop, save it as a high quality JPEG and let's just call it cutout map. Okay, save it. And then we can turn this off and we can save this here bump map. So I'm just going to go here, save as, again desktop, high quality JPEG, and save it as bump map. Okay, once that is completed, we are done basically with Photoshop. We have all three photos here so now we can go into Revit and here when you're in Revit you can just go here to the manage tab and here we have the materials browser so you open it up and you need to search for the default material and here it is this is basically material that you can always use to get started so I'm just going to go right click and duplicate it 
and let's just call it brick wall okay now let's just delete this and search for our new material brick wall here it is okay so now we can edit it so I'm going to go here to the appearance tab and first we need to change the image so I'm going to select the image go to desktop and find this brick texture so open it up here it is once that is done we can let's change this image to scene let's do a wall because this will be basically for a wall and there you go maybe make it a bit larger to see what would it look like actually okay you can see the texture is too small so now we can go here open this drop menu and go edit image and now we can make it basically larger so this is yeah this is way too small let's do it 3 by 3 meters that's too big let's try 1 by 1 uh, maybe one and a half it's a bit of a hit and miss okay one and a half by one and a half meters that works fine now once that is completed we can go down and here we have the cutouts and we have the bump so let's do the bump first we need to search for the image we open up this bump map we scroll down a bit and here we need to set this to 1.5 as we did in our original image okay so that's done and here you can make the bump a bit harder or a bit softer I'm gonna leave it at something like this maybe a bit softer okay and now let's do the cutouts so check this and go cutout map and again scroll down and you need to set this to 1.5 or whatever you did for the bricks okay that looks fine go okay and there you go here you can see these bricks are actually missing so now if we just escape out of that go apply okay so once that is completed we can go into architecture create a wall let's do just the generic 200 like so and then we can create a camera facing that wall like this okay and now let's select the wall and add the material so I'm going to go here to edit type edit the structure and for the material let's use our brick wall go OK OK apply OK and now if we go into render or basically just ray trace let's see what happens and there you go we have our brick wall you can actually see here you can see through the wall okay so that's how you create material cutouts in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any comments or suggestions for further tutorials or any questions you can leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day